Yes, this is the Xiaomi Mi TV 4A and delivered all the way from China. It has a beautiful looking display 43 inch with a 1080p resolution. Yet, this television has a lot of Chinese content, characters, symbols and features. Yet you still want to buy yourself one or consider to buy one yourself from China. So make sure you watch the whole video. Before we jump right into the review, I would like to share with you that this Xiaomi Mi TV 4A is priced much cheaper than any other 43-inch 1080p television. You can find the best available price from both EU or China warehouse, both with tax-free shipping from Europe or to Europe and a coupon in the description down below. Next to that like and subscribe button and leaving a comment will be highly appreciated. <laughs> Guys, this is the Xiaomi 43 inch television and I really cannot wait to show this to you guys. Let's go. This television is huge and it comes in an even larger box that weighs nearly 10 kilograms. The television is protected by an outer box. So let's remove the straps and remove the first box, which is well protecting the television box. Once the outer box is removed, we see Xiaomi's branding all over it with specifications, icons, trademarks and more. Inside the television box itself, there's a minimalistic remote control, some screws, the legs itself and a user manual in Chinese. The television itself is once again protected by some styrofoam and then we finally have the television itself, which is protected again by a plastic bag. It is super easy to attach the legs to the television. Grab yourself a screwdriver and install two screws easily in each leg. Once the legs are attached, the television standing on the TV stand just looks super impressive. Just keep in mind that the power plug is in the Chinese version, so depending on where you live you might need to buy an adapter, which I will link in the description down below. The Xiaomi 4A television itself is mainly made out of plastic. The legs are made from plastic, just like the bezels, which are also relatively thick. Nevertheless, I do have to say that I do love the aesthetics and the design, as well as the minimalistic logo at the bottom. It's nowhere stated, but I do think and believe that this is an IPS display, because first of all, it looks like it, and secondly, the viewing angles are great. Overall, the screen looks really amazing. It's not an OLED display, so blacks aren't truly black and whites are pretty white if you slightly modify the settings. One thing that you might have noticed is that there's a decent amount of latency, up to 6.5 milliseconds. Inside the television you can find the quad-core Cortex-A53 M-Logic T962 processor with a Mali 450 GPU. There's also 2GB of DDR4 RAM and 4GB of internal storage. On the rear we have 2x6 watt speakers that support Dolby Virtual Surround Sound, Bass Boost and DTS. Ports are also available. There are two HDMI ports 2.0, two USB 2.0 ports and one Ethernet port. There's also a Bluetooth 4.2 connection allowing you to connect wireless headphones so you won't disturb anyone else. This is a really great feature and I've never seen it before. The display is made by either LG or AUO and depending on the version you receive there's a huge difference in contrast. Whereas the LG has a 1200 to 1 ratio, the AUO has a 3000 to 1 ratio. So fingers crossed which one you will receive. The remote control is incredibly minimalistic, typical Xiaomi style and I do love it. It's easy in use, looks good and connects via both Bluetooth and infrared. Buttons are tactile and allows you to easily navigate on the TV. Yet it's not perfect, but more on that later. 
The operation system here is the tricky feature. It either makes or breaks it for you. Let's be honest because the first time when I got this television everything was in Chinese. Luckily there are all kind of tutorials on YouTube on how to change your settings to English and I will link one in the description down below. Even by changing the language to English there is still a lot of Chinese and that's because of Xiaomi's patch wall, a skin on Android 6. What I do not like is that there's an advertisement. When you turn on the television, you'll have some sort of ad pre-roll while the system is booting. You can avoid this by turning off your Wi-Fi, but it's kind of sad. But on the other hand, I understand why the price is so low for the television. Once the TV is up and running, that skin is terrible for us because it's all in Chinese and full of Chinese content. There are only a few features that we can really use. Namely, television, HDMI and USB features, and the most prominent feature is to install APK files yourself. I couldn't manage to install Google Play in any kind of way, but I found out that APK files are okay to install and therefore managed to install Netflix, Chrome, YouTube and any other kind of application via your USB drive. To come back to the remote, this is where it has its limitations. As the remote won't allow you to scroll through Netflix for example, and you need to have a mouse or an air mouse to make swipe movements like on any other phone. Since you cannot install Google Play, playing games is done by either installing them via the APK files or you just plug in your Xbox and play some games. Playing games on this television is really enjoyable, which you can easily do on your Xbox or Playstation. Else, a Kodi or TV box that runs Android is also an alternative. Also, keep in mind that you cannot log into your YouTube to watch your subscribed channels. So in conclusion, if you want to have a cheap 43 inch television with Android and you don't mind to play around with Chinese and install apps in a bit more difficult way than it should be, it is definitely a winner. If you'd rather have a plug and play television and are willing to pay a little bit more for it, skip this one. I'm keeping this one and that's not because of the great sound, because to be honest, it's a bit flat the sound profile, but because of the surprisingly good looking display and it's so easy and nice to play games on it with your Xbox or PlayStation. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you check all the links in the video's description down below. There you can find the current price because I do ship from Europe and you will avoid to pay any taxes. You can also find all the different sizes available. This is the 43, but there's also a 32 or a 55 inch version. Like the video if you haven't already, subscribe or consider to subscribe and then we will see you with the next video.